for fuck's sake. Now he's gonna play fucking Aikido. Actually, we might as well get get well get all the Marines out of the way today. So we'll do Aikido, Kizaru, and uh, uh, Aokiji, and Smoker. I want to try and do a row a day, actually. That might do better. No, come on. Alright, let's start. Why does this- Luffy, I'm gonna do what I did to your fucking brother. <laughs> oh, fucking shit! Come, 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 come This is what I get for sitting behind my desk, like a dumbass. Oh, Why the fuck did I not you start- You those videos I showed you, bro, where uh, the guy was saying Ikea was gonna get clapped? This is quite literally the outcome. Yeah, because all he fucking does is sit behind his fucking chair. Yeah, he, he does doesn't fucking Logia. train. He has a powerful Logia, but what's the point of that if you don't have hockey? Dude, Kuzon could easily have clapped him. Listen, Kuzon kept that bitch alive. Oh, yeah, because he didn't want the position. He kept him alive. I think the reason why Akainu talks shit, because he knows he can't win. He can't fight. He has a powerful Logia. But what's with a powerful logo if you we, can't we even fucking throw Aikinu, hands? We know why the way he is. Or Sakazuki. Because maybe his parents died of the Rocks Pirates. That's why he's a fucking and asshole. And he wants to keep getting stronger, but here comes these old cracks, or friends and colleagues, that are just way stronger than you, and the only thing, you know, giving you power and authority, is your Logia. And also that you're fully dodgeball. And all this shit's happening. And I think I know what's happening. I think the Gorosei are ordering Akainu to not do anything. Yeah, because if it was Akainu, if he was not Fleet Admiral, he would be going to all these places and immediately going after Straw Hat. Oh yeah, I think they gave it to that Fleet Admiral title to him on purpose. They gave it to him on purpose, so they can keep him locked in a cage. Essentially, and use him when they need to. Yeah, and absolutely use him when they need to. And also because Akainu is a liability because he also hates the Celestial Dragons, and he also doesn't get why the fuck they need to protect him. Like, even, like, uh, Akainu pointed that out during the meme. Remember, he's like, why are we protecting these damn fucking heathens? Why are we protecting these ugly-ass, fat-ass And cats? here's what I love what Akinu said. He basically compared the Celestial Lords... Dragons. The Celestial Dragons to pirates. That they were criminals. They are. And he flat-out said what he said. They're criminals. They are doing shit that pirates would do. Yeah. And they're not being held accountable for it? Yeah. Well, some of them, like, no... The only, the only way they're held accountable is they're doing good stuff. And then they get killed for it. Yeah, they get a killed or exiled for being yeah, good yeah, people. Yeah, and that's the weird part. Akainu is seeing it. And he's like, how it uh, is. And the, and the fucking Slash Dragon's like, shut the fuck up, Akainu. Shut up, Sakazuki. Yeah, we're all right, the fucking talk shit about how we run our shit, alright? You run the fucking Marines. That's your job. You're not in charge of CP0 or us. No, these The Marines are your fucking job. The Fleet Admiral is only there to protect the Celestial Dragons. The Fleet Admiral is the only one that associates with the Celestial Dragons. Yeah, and Akainu is starting to understand why Garp didn't want it. Yeah. He's starting to understand he real been, quick. Garp would have been Fleet Admiral. He was given this position so many fucking yeah, times. Yeah, but Garp fucking hates those bastards. He didn't want to become Fleet Admiral, and that's why Sengoku took it, and that's why... Dude, 
You know it's bad when they're still bitching when the place is on fire and their lives are in danger. When they're still bitching like, oh, where are my slaves? Oh, this is the worst day ever. Oh, where's my creep tea and crumpets? It's like, what the fuck? You guys are about to die. And you guys are still bitching about, like, the littlest things? Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, seriously. I thought they were bad, but... Holy fuck. They, they, um... They built different. Like... There is something fucking wrong in movies. Oh yeah, I can't, it's like you may be able to agree with this. I watched a teching video today, the new one about Kobe, and honestly, if One Piece ends and they decide to do like a six like episode like special series of Kobe, I'm down for it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. On like what happened to him during and before after the time skip, like some of the shit they didn't like oh, show. Ah, doing Kobe, so I would be pretty good. I I'd love that. Or maybe they do something with Roger. They do the backstory on Roger. That'd be cool. Of uh, Roger fighting him. Like his full journey. Uh, and then they stop when he gets executed. They could do like a six part like movie part. For Roger, yeah. Like showing Roger how he got his men. They could. But not even like a, like a, not even like a six just, part movie. Just do it. Like, up, a, like a six, like a six, it. like a six episode like series. Yeah, just do, like, it, do it up to the point to got the God's Valley. God's God Valley City, yeah. And then. Because we already know the rest. Yeah, because then you could just go straight forward to, and just watch Wano to see like where Roger's story continues. Just do up to like his beginning of his journey to God Valley. Valley, And yeah. that, that should be good enough. Yeah. Because that's basically Roger's entire story filled out. Yeah. And that would be a dope, like, thing to do. For us to see how Roger got all of his men, and who he fought. Yeah, and who, and we got, oh, actually. And how he, how his relationship, how he got into a good relationship with Garp in the first place. I'd like to know. How Garp and Roger first met, that... Yeah, that actually be cool too. How said Goku, Sudo, Garp, and Roger first met. I have a feeling Sen Goku and Siru were in the Wano country. Who, Sen Goku? Yeah, because they have names. Or I guess in different countries. I just they don't could, know. yeah. They could be. They could have been a part of the families that left Wano. It's very possible. Because Sudo has a granddaughter that's in the Marines. If Garp is the like that, I'm whip. scared. I'm scared to see what Sudo and Sengoku. Are you telling me those two were holding back too? Like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, the only reason why the Black Reaper Pirates are winning is because they're together. Yeah. The, if the Straw Hats were there, they would purposely try to split them up. Oh, yeah. So they would have no choice but to fight 1v1s because we know they if they were fighting 1v1s they no, would No, the lose. Straw Hats would have to like kind of separate the Blackbeard Pirates. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If the Blackbeard Pirates they've never had 1v1s except for Teach. Yeah, they'd have the to separate The others always got clapped. They'd have to put them in 1v1 situations so they so they can clap them. So cuz the reason why the Blackbeard Pirates have been winning is because of the fucking numbers vantage. I think it would be pretty cool if Frankie fought Sam Wan Wolf or possibly Avalo Pizarro. I think Frankie would fight Avalo Pizarro. I think Chopper... Then, no, no. Chopper would fight Doc Q. Jinbei would fight Sam Wan Wolf. Yeah, because Sam Wolf would just be in the fucking water. Yeah, and like, Jinbei can use the water against... Yeah, Sam and also Wolf. Jinbei will be the one to drown him. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Wan Wolf in the chapter be like, I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm drowning. Not again! <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> Fuck.
bucket of them. I was like, God damn it, someone, Wolf! Wait, Stop drowning, you big fat When bitch. I saw that shit, I played I'm Drowning from Da Boogie. <laughs> I just fucking... Da Boogie with I started dying! Because <laughs> I'm like, that's facts! He was drowning! <laughs> drowning! I'm drowning. And then, like, when Garp fucking starts punching people, fucking old time... <laughs> Dude, o Old Town Road just starts playing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. No, no, fucking Fortunate Son starts playing? Oh my god. Do do! Do do! Do do! Oh fuck, it's Garb! Do do! The small, we're in the flag! All the red, white, and blue! Alright, we're doing another character. All we'll right. see you guys then. Yep, see you guys with another character. Bye.